first you gotta love yourself. First, you gotta love yourself. I decided I'm gonna stand up for this video. You know, I'm feeling myself today. I'm healthier today than I normally am. I've got uh, some wins that I can be proud of when it comes down to my health and my healing journey. I'm not gonna make any health videos right now though because I still wanna make sure that I beat the things that I got going on before I jump into the ring real confident and start talking about what I did to get better and whatnot. Um, but. First, you gotta love yourself, man. I saw that uh, for the first time on my, my son's mom. In her house, she had this uh, popsicle stick that said, first, love yourself, fly, you know? I never forgot that, that was big to me, you know? You know, it's crazy, man, in 2016, I was on the road, and I was in Cincinnati at the time when I started really loving myself. Um, I was in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I was staying at this Airbnb. And I was deciding to make some changes because I wanted to attract, you know, I didn't want to attract what I was because you know, back, back then I was willing to sleep with strangers. I was reckless. I would, you know, I was reckless and um, I wasn't anything that I would want to marry, you know, but I was, I was offering that. Ah, it's crazy. It's crazy. You know, my aunt taught me that. She said, Yo, so you smoke cigarettes, you smoke weed all the time. You're willing to have sex with strangers. So you got this addictive personality. You can't control yourself. Oh, but you're frustrated because you don't have a girlfriend or a wife or a fiance. You're frustrated because you don't have somebody, huh? She's like, so you have all that to offer, right? And I'm like, yeah, oh, <clears throat> yeah. And she's like, well, do you want that? And I'm thinking, ah, no, I don't want to meet somebody that I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with and the day that I meet them, they was just getting down yesterday or they just coming from the, from the, you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't want that. I don't want somebody who gets horny easy and just has to sleep with strangers or just can't control them. So I don't want that. So I was like, well, all right, fine. So, you know, four years, five years later in Cincinnati, Ohio, because sometimes, man, it takes time for us to change. Talk about seasons, man. Everybody has a season when, when they change and, and if they ever get to that season. But my season was in Cincinnati, Ohio, 2016. And I said, you know what? I'm not sleeping with strangers. I'm not masturbating. I'm not watching porno. I'm not smoking no cigarettes. I'm not texting nobody. I'm not calling nobody baby. I'm not going to do no flirting. I'm not going to do no. I'm going to make sure I have myself under control. I'm going to chisel my decisions and chisel my behavior to reflect that of which I would like to attract. Because I want to make sure I attract a woman who has her shit under control, you know? And uh, man, that's exactly what happened, man. Uh, but... But during that, sorry, I got, got excited and started jumping ahead. But during that, during that time of making those changes, I also decided to start loving myself more and start being OK with being alone. You know, I started practicing being happy without someone. You know, I started practicing but when I was going to sleep. I would just I would say to myself, yeah, man, I love you, man. And I, when I, I, I want to tell you when I told myself I love myself for the first time, I felt something, you know, I, I felt something when I said it. So I said it again, man. I said, man, I love you, man. And good looking out. Good looking out. On all the times that I didn't say good looking out. Good look, you know? I mean, it felt good, man. It felt so good. And it, it felt so good. I started doing it all the time, man. Just off GP. Like, man, I love you, man. Straight up. Straight up, man. I love you, man. And it, it felt good every time I said it. It feels good right now saying that I haven't said it in a long time. It felt good right now saying it. it felt like medicine to my heart a little bit, you know? Anyhow, that's just my experience. And uh, that's what came to my mind with first love yourself, fly. So I encourage you to also fly, you know, love yourself first uh, before you get frustrated, you know, about what you don't have and haven't attracted yet and take some lessons from my auntie angie man wow i encourage you to ask yourself the same questions man what do you have to offer do you have an addictive personality do you just get overwhelmingly horny and you just have to masturbate and you just have to sleep with strangers or you just have to call have phone sex you just have to flirt with some people because you just lonely like do you not have any of that under control and i'm not judging you because i used to be there so what i'm saying is that uh if you uh, are still uh, in the season of wanting and desiring someone or someone better um, 
I encourage you to definitely start asking yourself, what do you have to offer? It's funny because you might ask yourself what you have to offer and then you might start answering some questions and then you might look at the person who you've been with and think to yourself, huh, that's why I'm with you because I'm like this. Wow. Interesting. So I, I don't know. I'm not trying. I'm, not, I'm just saying, you know, if you're unhappy, maybe it's possible that uh, you attracted you. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? I mean, hit me in the comments to talk about it. Um, hopefully you're not offended. But if you are, you know, I'll be mindful of my response to you if you talk rough. Uh, 